So for the next presenter, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Yang Feng uh, from Nihon University with the research entitled Exploring Characteristics of Visual Management as Lean Toolbox in Construction Worksite of Apartment House. Thank you for introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yang Feng from Nihon University, Japan. The title of my paper is Exploring Characteristics of Visual Management as Lean Toolbox in Construction Work Site of Apartment House. Keywords are visual management, lean production, construction industrial, and data mining. Now let's get into the topic. In recent year, Lean management, a production management method used in the automobile manufacturing industry, has been applied not only to other manufacturing industry, but also to the construction industry. This paper examines the implementation of visual management based on lean production in a construction site in Japan and analyzes the use of visualization tools. It aims to solve two main problems. First, which visualization tools of lean production are used in Japan, Japanese construction industry. And second, we want to clarify which practical problems these tools are used to solve, whether there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the tools and the problems, or there is a one-to-multiple correspondence between them. Finally, we want to explore the possibility of two combination to achieve lean use of tools. Here is the overview and method of my research. First, we have done literature research, and second, pub, a proposed overlapped purpose phenomenon, and then case study, fourth, verification, fin verification phenomenon by using work extraction and system diagram, and then use co-occurrency network to analyze the each tool's situation, and then found different solutions for the same purpose of tools. Finally, we want to create visual management tools that are easier to use. Here, <clears throat> what is what in the Rex box is the context of the date speech. So what is the visual, visual management? According to Monata, visual management undertakes the role of both just in time and automation with a human touch, which supports the total production system and aims to animate all kinds of waste in production activities between the ideal environment they pursue and the daily work. Academical research and classification of this method is ongoing. In this study, a cutting point is selected from the various characteristics of vision management, such as control level, management object, communication, and so on. And the result is a clear opinion. However, it is difficult to say that this classification represents all the facts. Therefore, this paper will explore how to more accurately represent the situation of construction sign. That is, try to clarify the network relationship between multiple tools and multiple management purposes. This is based on the premise that one tool is used for multiple purposes and the overlap between the tools and the management object, which is called overlapped purpose. It can be considered that by clar clarifying such a situation, the following results can be achieved. First, the use of visual management tools. And second, restrain random development of visual management. And third, combined application of visual management tools. In order to understand the current correct situation, we conducted a case study. We went to the site of a construction company that actually used the visualization tools of lean production. Finally, we wrote the study results into a report and we use this report as a base for verifying the overlapped purpose. The tool we use this time is called KH Coder, which is a free and open source software that can be used for category science and analyze and cluster analyze or network analyze. We use category science analyze and network analyze this time. Here is the process of verifying overlapped purpose. It took three steps. Step one, word, word extraction with data mining. We're using KH Coder to automatically extract words in the report. 
Finally, a total of 573 words were extracted from the whole report. Step two, words classification with system diagram. Classification was carried out for a total of three times. In the first class classification, the 573 words in the previous step are classified it into 101 categories and summarized into 40 in the second classification. Finally, in the third classification, they are summarized into five. These five are the final results of the analyze for the purpose of issue management tools. Here's the table of relationship between the method and purpose. The number in the table represents the number of words in the text of these tools for each purpose. The red one is the main, is the main purpose of these tools. According to this paper, we can draw the conclusion that first, all the visualization tools are used for multiple purposes. This proves that there is overlapped purpose phenomena between tools and purposes. Secondly, the highest value is the higher value is the stronger color, uh, color, coloration between tools and purposes. Thirdly, there are most tools aimed primarily at promoting communication and ensuring safety. After, confirm this, after confirming this phenomenon, we need to know what is specific content of each tool and how is it used to solve the corresponding problems. In view of these above two problems, in this page, we use called occurrence network diagram to analyze the description text of each tool and establishes the occurrence network representatively. Here, we only use safety meeting daily as a sample. We analyze the media centrality of each word in the next word and find words with the strongest media centrality as the base of this map of the main context of these tools. The size of the circle indicates the frequency of occurrence of work. The thickness of the line connected to the circle and circle indicates the stress of association. The blue circle shows that the word has the strongest media centrality in this picture. Here are the three most media centrical words about safety meeting daily. Through them, in other words, connected to them, we can know that the safety meeting daily is a recorded based visualization tools. It, means, it mainly used to record danger related activities that take place on site every day and during meeting. The context include the record of safety and the record, record of risk. After performing the same analysis on all tools, we know that even for the same purpose, such as safety, different tools still have their own focus. For example, for the purpose of safety and risk, the main function of safety meeting daily is to record. While the safety bulletin board is focusing on reward. So in the future, we would like to explore how to better combine the tool to achieve more efficient use of tools. Second, in the core currency network of different tools, the correlation of each section is also different, such as this picture. So for the further research, we should learn more about core occurrence network to go further research. To sum up, First, we have summarized the visualization tools used in the Japanese construction site. And second, we have provided proof the extent of overlapped purpose between tools and purpose. And third, we found that tools have different focus, focuses for the same purpose. The follow-up work will be combined with reality, try to slip it, slip it and reorganize tools for the same purpose and with similar way to achieve the purpose to achieve more efficiency use for the tools. In the, field, uh, in the future study, we will continue to learn more about the visualization tools of the construction industry, review the possibility of streamlining them and contribution to the safety and efficiency of the construction site. 
here is the reference. That's all. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Yang Feng, for your uh, presentation. Uh, I would like to invite the participant if there is any question uh, regarding uh, Mr. Yang Feng's presentation. And from the chat room, we have two questions over here. The first is from Mr. Aditya Tirta Platama. Thank you for your presentation. Can your result be applied to other type of companies or services or limited only in the construction company? And what kind of adjustment need to be done if it is applied to other companies or services? Okay, thank you for your question. And this time we stand in the manufacturing, uh, we use the visual of manufacturing industrial to see what visualization tools of lean production used in the construction side. And it can say, it can also use in other, uh, other company or other industrial. If we, uh, a judgment need. So this time we just focused on the construction industrial. So for, for the other industrial, it did need some in judgment, such as uh, now the construction industrial is focusing on the safety, but other like, just like manufacturing industrial, they may focus on the eff efficiency or other purpose, yes. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Yangfan, for you your answer. Uh, we shall proceed to the next question from Ms. Tanika, uh, Tanika Sofianti. Uh, thank you, Mr. Feng, for a very nice presentation. I am Tanika from Swiss German University. I would like to know that if there was any research about correlation of visual management in construction work, with the nationality of the construction workers. Workers. Uh, thank you for your question. I think this time we just analyzed the Japanese situation, but in other country, they may in the same situation. It does not matter with the nationality. nationality. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And for the last question from uh, Ms. Uh, Jeho Shashpat or Jai. So good evening. I'm sorry if this is a trivial question, but what do you mean when you say that a word has a strong media centrality? Okay, thank you for your question. The media centrality is that when uh, just like media, a group is here and other group is here. And when in the middle is the media in this situation. So when we clarify, when we clarify this center one, we can know what, it, what is in the, this way and this way. So okay. when, we, when we clarify what, in the, what is the media in the middle, we can know what is inside, beside them, and know the main purpose. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Yangfen, for your uh, answer. So uh, I think I uh, we don't see any question anymore for this section uh, for Mr. Yangfen's presentation. So uh, thank you.